Hello everyone, this is Chris, and to a surprise to no one, Bedrock Edition has a splurge of different types of bugs in it. Whether it be redstone contraptions not necessarily checking in the, um, the redstone signal, or little things like pistons not being able to pull back in blocks on the bedrock, the bedrock floor, there are plenty of different types of bugs like this inside the game. However, despite the inconveniences with these types of bugs, you can at least kind of understand the problem and understand how you would go to fix this. Like, you would understand, okay, just make sure every single one of these droppers gets dispensed. Or, oh, make sure that when sticky pistons are at bedrock, they actually pull in their block like this. Like, many of these types of bugs, you at least understand how they could be fixed. But sometimes you find a bug that is so illogical and so out there that it makes absolutely no sense and you wouldn't have a clue on how to even start fixing it, which is actually what we are showing off today. And also, this uh, this bug, I did not find myself. Uh, Evelyn, a friend of mine, you might have heard of her, she, uh, she found it, showed it off to me, and I'm thinking, okay, this is kind of cool, I kind of want to show it off. But yeah, the way you actually want to do this bug is, uh, is a little bit uh, complicated, a little bit tricky, because... What you first actually have to do is head your way into the end, which is um a little bit strange, a little bit uh, strange for a bug like this, but let's be honest, all types of bugs are a little bit strange. Also, if you're planning on doing this bug yourself, I'd recommend having a second player in the world, like uh, what I'm having this little guy from the little Christmas special video in here, just because if you see it in first person, it makes, uh, it makes no sense, but it makes even more less sense with a... Uh, with an extra player in game. But when we're in the end, you might be thinking, okay, what's this crazy bug? Are we gonna move an end crystal? Or are we gonna take the ender dragon all the way to the overworld? Um, the end is kind of irrelevant, at least with everything inside of it. What's more important is the dimension itself, because you probably know this, there is two different types of dimensions, the nether and the end. And when you try lighting, say, a nether portal inside the end, uh, this happens. It does not uh, light. You cannot um, dimension jump from one dimension to another. That is something that does not happen. However, there is a way to get the nether portal block inside of the end. There might be a way to do it in survival, but there is a way you could do it in creative. And the way you do that is you just type in this command right here, set block, the little squigglies portal, and then it will spawn in a nether portal, which is what I'm going to do with the... Uh, the little, um, this guy over here, and if I do that, then you see that there he is. He is completely and totally gone, and you might be wondering, okay, he might have just gone into the nether. That's probably exactly where he went. Well, if I go inside of it, if I go inside of it and follow him suit, you might notice that, wait a minute, where are we? We are 32,000 blocks in the sky. This guy is still up here with me. What is going on up here? And for some reason, we are 32,765 blocks above where we spawned in inside the world, which is, um, if I'm honest, a little bit strange, not ex not uh, what you're expecting when going through another portal. But here's the even stranger thing. Here's the even stranger thing. Like, you see how I'm this one guy's right here? Look at what happened when I throw an obsidian. I'm not I'm not touching that guy. I'm not doing anything. Look, he. He is the one throwing the obsidian out of him, out of himself rather than me. And if I change it out to flint steel, if I grab maybe like other types of blocks, just random types of things, if I start, if I start uh, throwing it out, look, he's starting to throw out all this different types of things from him and not me. And if I did have a way to record my Xbox, I totally would show you uh, his perspective too. But yeah, in case you did see his perspective, you would see me throwing out uh, blocks from him if he was throwing out blocks. Like... Let's say he has this map in hand right here. If he threw it out, then I would be the one to throw it out right where he is. But for some reason, I saw him throw it out, which is uh, a little bit strange. But yeah, when we are over here, he's the one that's throwing out all these different types of stuff. But it's not just limited to me interacting with him. He could also interact with me. Say, for example, you see how he has a potion in his hand. If he throws it, you might expect, okay, he might just maybe go into the void or something like that, but when he does happen to throw it, look at that. I get night night vision now, and I was in no way, like, able to actually get hit by it. Okay, you, you might be thinking, okay, that's a little bit, um, 
a little bit strange. You might have been standing in the direct way of it. Well, if we switch to a leaping potion and we are directly out of the line of sight of this one guy and he throws it again, look at that. We now have leaping too when when he just throws it in like nowhere. Like, how does this even make sense? How you have a very strange throw, little Mr. Little Mr. Uh, Christmas special guy. Like, how do you how do you hit me when I'm over here and you're looking that way? That is that's weird. And there's a few things that just simply don't work. You can see me trying to pull back the one crossbow to, uh, to fire it. It is not firing, no matter how hard I try pulling it back. It will not fire. Bows, on the other hand, you could get to the point where you fire it, but when you do fire it, nothing happens. Like, there's no no arrow that goes anywhere, which is kind of kind of a little bit weird. And fishing rods are another type of story, because no matter where you look, it will always go back to that one... So that one extra person inside the game, like no matter how many times you do it, no matter how often you do it, it will always go back to that second person. Okay, all that stuff, it's very strange and very um, out of the ordinary as it is, but what happens when we actually head our way right the way back down onto, um, onto the Minecraft world? What happens after we fall the 30,000 blocks and hit the ground? Are we able to do things again? Are we able to just play the game as normal just by throwing things at them, um, well, I guess there's only, there's only one way to find out. And now we finally made ourselves all the way down here, and we are back onto the, uh, back onto the ground, and now we can play the game as usual, and, wait a minute, wait a minute, why, why is, why are blocks not being able to get destroyed or anything like that? They just keep popping back into existence. What happens if we try to place blocks? Um, nope, the, the same thing. This is a very, very out of the ordinary type bug, if you, as you can see right here, like, you can't interact with the world, you can't do anything like that inside the world, like, nothing inside this singular Minecraft world works anymore as you would expect, because you can't interact with it, you can't throw things out. If I still try throwing things out, they will fall from that one guy all the way up 30,000 blocks into the sky, and, wait a minute, are you, s I didn't even know this was possible, like, I'm, I'm throwing it from 30,000 blocks into the sky, and they are immediately hitting the ground. That is so strange. I didn't even know this thing was a thing. Like, I, I did lots of testing with this one bug, and I didn't even know uh, this thing was a thing where you could actually pick up the things. Oh, you can't even, you can't even pick up the blocks that have fallen. This is, this is so strange. This is so weird that, like, nothing, nothing in your world even works anymore. But there is one way I think I found to actually fix this strange and weird type of bug, and in case you know anything about hardware or anything like that, if it's not working properly, the best way to uh, at least try and fix it is turning it off and turning it back on again, which is what uh, which is what we're going to try and do right now. So by loading back into the world on my Xbox, we can see that, oh, we, we fell for a second, which is kind of weird, but are we back in, okay, we are back into a position where we could actually pick up blocks and things. The strange thing is that I didn't log out of this one guy's world, so is he back to normal? No, nope, I am. You could hear me trying to move the controller, and he is not moving at all. Like, he's punching his fists and stuff. He's trying to do things. What happens if I throw blocks? Okay, I I seem to be back to normal. What happens if I try having him fly with an Elytra? Nope, nothing happens. He is he's completely stationary, which means that if you are in a... Um, in a multiplayer world, you are definitely gonna have to relog both of you in order to get yourself back into a back into a state of uh, normality. But you might be wondering what would happen if it's just me, if it is just one person inside the world testing out this bug. So yeah, it's just me, no one else. And if we uh, type in the same command, if we go to set block portal, we hop through, and we are once again back up with the world. The only thing is that uh, we have no one to throw to, and when when we don't have anywhere, anyone to throw to, then what will happen is just there is no place to throw to other than just the void of space for some reason. And I think, I think the same thing happens with, um, the fishing rods and other things like that, where you try fishing it and it will, oh, it will just fling itself into the, uh, into the, uh, literal abyss of nothingness. And it seems as though the same thing applies with projectiles, isn't that they... They don't exist. Nothing happens. You can hear me throwing it, but nothing's nothing's happening. So, uh, looks like the same thing applies to- Oh, wait a minute. Do you, 
Did you see that when I was in third person? There was something somewhere. I am jittering out of control, but I I swear I saw a potion somewhere. There is it over there? Is it Okay, I might I might be seeing things, but I swear I see like a potion falling somewhere over in that direction. And it seems as though there's a slight difference from single player and multiplayer because you remember in uh, multiplayer, I was kind of breaking it, but then they were just completely reappearing. In here, I can't even do that. I can't even, um, like, imaginarily break a block and then it imaginarily gets replaced. Unless if that's that... Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it's just a little, um, texture difference or something like that, where you can see it's sort of, um, disappearing and reappearing really quickly. Even placing blocks, it is not possible. I'm trying to place this spawner, I'm trying to place these stairs. None of that is happening. Fishing, not gonna happen, I don't think. Where'd the rod go? Oh, I think it goes, does it go, it goes back to, oh, okay, it goes right to the very center of the world. I'm, I'm still trying to learn this bug. There is a lot of things to do with this bug that I still don't quite understand. And it looks like with this bug, even, even in the overworld, it doesn't seem to load. After you load in your first set of chunks in here, it just seems to, Stop loading. There's obviously blocks here. You can obviously see the uh, the sand particles and things, but there's a point where it just stops to load and it ceases to ceases to exist. So there's probably a lot of things to do with this one particular bug. We're going through another portal inside the end, but um, I think you get the general idea how Minecraft completely completely loses its senses. It's like uh, uh what's going on here, and then it's just like. Yeah, puts you in a world where you can't interact with it, puts you in a multiplayer world where things pop out of other players, and lots of other strange things with this particular type of bug. And yeah, if you are in a multiplayer world, um, maybe don't do this. I mean, if you relog, it'll be fine, but just to be safe, just maybe, maybe don't do this. In a creative world, just play around with it, like have fun with it. See, see what types of uh, strange commodities you see come out of this one type of bug, but yeah, for now, that's pretty much all I have for you, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.